be stupid. In fact, you must be, you must be very, very stupid. And if you ask me to come down again, I will slap you with my left hand. You are stupid. And I will repeat it again. I know I'm stupid. You are very yes, stupid. Yes, I'm stupid. Can I you do that to your father? You see, very soon, eh, I am going to talk to you eh, and your empty barrel. Please, I'm... please, I promise I won't stay. I won't check your phone again. Please, just do anything you want. Please, don't break this relationship with me. Please, I beg you. Please. Please, 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 please. Uh, that even serves you right. You see, because we are planning on getting married, eh, does not mean that I don't have the right yes. to have as many girlfriends that I want. Eh? It doesn't mean that I cannot have sex with as much as, as much ladies that I want to. In fact, you are even making me angry. I am no longer interested in this relationship. Ah, please, so it Deji, is please, over. Deji, 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 please, I beg you. Please, if I you beg, touch I beg me, you, I am going to slap. I beg. Will you? <laughs> it is over. Read my lips. Read my lips. It is over. If the, the very day you call me again in your life, ah, Deji, please, Deji, 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 please, now, please, I beg you. Hey, I will, I will, I will kill her. I will kill her. You can't. Thank you for joining me in this telecast today. My name is BC Adewale, your family coach. Today I will be telling you people you must never marry. You see, if devil can connect you to a wrong person, if he successfully does that, he doesn't need to attack you again in life. He has already finished you. He has already put beside you something and someone that will destroy you, to rule over you and to ruin you. So one of the most important decisions you will take in life is the decision of who to marry. And there are people you can marry. I don't know the person you should marry, but I'll be telling you the person you must never marry. Are you in the house? Sit down and join me. Call your friends. Tell them it's time for Family Lifeline with BC at Diwali. I will be right back. Family Lifeline. Family Lifeline. Steve BC at Diwali, your family coach. I told you that I will be telling you some people you must never marry and I will be exposing them to you so that you won't connect your destiny with them because they can destroy your destiny. Number one, never marry someone who does not fear God. Anybody who does not fear God will destroy you. You can't fear well with a person. So what do you suppose to do? Before you marry anybody, check. Does he fear God? Will I fear well with this? And you may be asking me, how can I know somebody that fear God? The Bible says, by their food, you will know them. Not by their voices, not by their faces. You will know them by their food. Number two, never marry someone who does not need you. Who? If somebody does not need you, then why will you be in his life? Why will the person be in your life? He's showing it to you that you are not a need. Oh, you are an option in his life. You are not a compulsion. Why will you make somebody who sees you as an option, why will you make the person a compulsion in your life? Don't ever marry anybody that does not need you. Number three, never marry someone who fears no one 
Wow. Wow. He doesn't have a teacher, no leader, no pastor, no mentor. He doesn't listen to his parents. He doesn't have PF, that is to say the principal figure. Somebody that can control him or her. If you marry somebody like that, you will hurt yourself because the fellow is like driving a car without brake. Beautiful car, wonderful engine, nice driver, but no brake. And you want to travel from there to Ibadan, you want to travel from there to anywhere, and you want to be at 100 km per hour. Wow! You can predict what will happen. That's exactly what will happen to you if you marry someone who fears no one. Number four, never marry someone who is selfish. There's no way you can live in joy, in peace, in harmony with a selfish, self-centered, self-glorified, self-married person. He will end up destroying you. So never, ever give your hand in marriage to somebody that is selfish. Life is all about him. He's fond of saying, I, me, my, and myself. He or she cannot serve anybody and cannot make any sacrifice. If you go that way, you will hurt yourself. Number five, never marry someone who is unfaithful. Oh, you think it will change if you marry him? You call two or three girls with him. Oh, you think if you marry him, he will change. No. If you marry him, now he has more money, he will only upgrade. He was going out with four before, he will upgrade to eight to twelve. Never, ever try to marry anybody that's unfaithful when you are courting him or her. The person may destroy you. Family Lifeline Family lifeline. Number six, never marry someone who does not trust you. If that person is insecure being with you, you are not doing anything wrong, but he can't just trust you. He kept on accusing you that you are sleeping around and it's not true. If you marry him or her, you are going to have a serious problem because it's a sign that he has problem or she has problem with insecurity. Never marry anybody who does not trust you. Number seven, never marry someone you do not trust. If you do not trust him, why will you marry him? If you do not trust her, you see, without trust, there cannot be love. And without love, there will be no real marriage. Without marriage, there can be no family. So that is why you have to lay the foundation of trust in that marriage so that you will not hurt yourself. Number eight, never marry someone you are not attracted to. Wow. You don't like a person. You don't like the structure. You think it will grow along the line. That is very dangerous. If your she is not attracted to you, please reconsider your decision to get married to that person. You know, marriage is not by force. Marriage is by choice. Never marry someone, that's number nine, who does not open up to you. Wow, I wrote a book some times ago. I call it 1,200 questions you must ask before you get married. You must ask the fellow, you must ask the lady. Then somebody asked me, what of if I ask him or her the question and he or she refused to answer me. I told the person that asked that question that that is a red flag and don't marry the person. Don't ever marry the person that is not ready to open up, to tell you about his past life, her past life, where he or she is coming from, her educational background, her past relationships and everything like that. If the person is not ready to show you that, to tell you that, is not ready to spend a life of future with you. Never marry someone who is not ready to answer all those 1,200 questions. Please go and download the book on familabooks.com quickly now 
so that you get to know all the questions and, and get yourself ready to ask them. Number 10, never marry someone who is not ready to leave his or her parent. The person is married to his or her parent. What else do you want? He's not ready to leave. You want to marry a guy who says he will live with his parent forever. But you feel because you are in love, you will manage him. No, you can't manage him. He will damage you and he will damage your future. So please don't marry anybody who is already married to his parent. Never marry someone who does not respect your person. Mm. That's a key point there. He does not respect your person. Talk to you anyhow. Shut up. Bullshit. Idiot. But you feel we are in love. I love him. <laughs> I used to tell people that love is not enough for marriage. It's not enough. You must marry somebody that has respect for you and somebody that you respect. Never marry someone who is not proud of you. Anybody that is not proud of you should not be your husband, should not be your wife. Anybody you want to be married to should be intoxicated with your love. Should enjoy spending time with you. Should be proud of you to introduce you to people. Meet my girl, meet my boy. If he's hiding you, that is not your husband. If she's hiding you, that means that is not your wife. Never marry anybody who is not proud of you. Number 14, never marry someone who only endures you. You see, some people, they will say, because I'm 35, I'm 36. If not because of my age, I wouldn't be going now with this guy. You see, no other person is toasting me, no other person is talking to me. Let me just endure, let me just manage him more. The problem is, you will live enduring each other for the rest of your life. A marriage is going to last for 50 years, plus or minus. Are you going to endure each other for 50 years? No, marriage is based on excitement. You are excited. You dream of him, you dream of her. You are excited to see him again, to see her again. You can't just let go. But if you only endure, then be ready to live the life of long suffering and endurance. Never marry someone who thinks marrying you is to do you a favor. Who? You know your age now. You advance in age. I just want to do you a favor. I just want to help you. That kind of mentality will destroy you if you go ahead and marry that kind of person. Nobody is doing you a favor. Marriage is give and take. Everybody will enjoy it. Everybody will have the opportunity of moving forward and progress. When a man finds his wife, find a good thing, a good woman will find a good man, they will get married with good character and they have a good marriage. So don't think you are doing anybody any favor by marrying the person. Family life line, line. Number 16, never marry someone who exalts his or her ego more than relationship. His or her ego is very important, more than anything. He defends himself every day, he protects himself. He or she wants to win any argument because of his ego. He can never be wrong. He cannot be corrected, he cannot be advised, he's unheeding, he's unbending, and he always has his way. That is very swift way to destruction. If you reward this video again, if you want to watch it, you can go to my uh, YouTube channel at BC at Dewale. I want you to watch it over and over again, over and over again, so that you know the people you must not get married to. And get my book, 32 Guys and Ladies You Must Never Marry. 32 Guys and Ladies You Must Never Marry. You can get the book by going to familiarbooks.com or call the number on your screen to get the physical copy. Thank you for joining me on this Family Lifeline today. It has been an interesting moment with you. Follow me on my Instagram account at BC Adewale, Twitter at BC Adewale, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at BC Adewale. Go to bcadewale.com 
and get all our teachings, articles, and many other things, and to learn more about family life and marriage. Thank you for joining me. It has been an interesting moment. Remember, family is very important. Take good care of your marriage. Family Lifeline. Family Lifeline. Building families, molding destiny. Family Lifeline. Family Lifeline.